Alright, so uh, today I'm going to uh, show you guys on how to troubleshoot your iPhone in case you drop your iPhone and then uh, your uh, screen start uh, flickering. So this is uh, what it shows uh, on the customer's uh, iPhone. She accidentally uh, dropped the iPhone and uh, unfortunately you see the like, uh, image duplicate on the bottom of the screen on the displays. So right there on the bottom portion right there, it's a duplicate image of uh, whatever that shows on the top. You see the calendar, the call, the video, I mean the FaceTime, and then the message. So first thing first is to uh, shut down the iPhone. That is the first method. And then uh, now you want to try to restart and see if that will fix it. Sometimes that will reset the memory on the iPhone and then uh, fix it, but uh, we'll see. So after I start the phone and then it's still uh, flickering and jumping uh, up and down. So right here I'm trying to demonstrate if I adjust uh, or make the display dimmer. And it's not as bad, but it is still uh, have a duplicate image on the bottom. So when I turn it up brighter, you can see the image right there. So that means uh, the first method, we didn't uh, really fix it. So we're going to go ahead and then uh, move on to the second uh, method. So as you see, it is still showing so uh, legible. So we're going to go to the second method now. Okay, the second method, you got to go to setting and then uh, go to uh, general. You're going to go to general and then uh, you're going to go scroll down to uh, reset. We are doing uh, reset all setting. This will not delete anything on your iPhone. So click on reset all setting and uh, make sure you confirm it. So once you did that, it only uh, reset your uh, Wi-Fi password. So we're gonna wait until it boots up now, so. Sometimes uh, reset all setting that would uh, fix the problem or issue that you're having. But unfortunately, you can still see on the bottom of the portion of the screen it's uh, jumping uh, up and down or flickering. So I'm trying to press down the screen and see is anything that is uh, short circuit on the display itself. But unfortunately, it didn't. And as you can see the screen, it is not cracked or anything like that. So it's kind of a bummer that uh, once the customer dropped it, must uh, mess up the chip that's uh, inside or that's on the display itself. And if this uh, still not fix your uh, problem, we're gonna jump into the third uh, method. So as you can see, it's still flickering. The third method is to uh, open up your iPhone, but uh, it will void your warranty. So make sure if you still have a warranty, you want to make an appointment online and take it to uh, Apple. So you want to go ahead and then uh, shut off the iPhone completely to avoid any short circuit. Before you open your iPhone, you want to make sure you don't have any uh, warranty. Once you open up your iPhone, you will void all your warranty. So if you have a warranty, make sure you take advantage of that and bring it to Apple and then uh, they will fix it for you. It could be free if your uh, screen is not cracked though. But if your screen is cracked, they will most likely will charge you arms and legs. So as you see, you're going to remove those uh, two pentadova screws and be sure to shut it down. If you don't do that, you might mess up even more on your iPhone.
All right, so right here I'm demonstrating on how to remove your uh, L metal plate that's uh, covering the battery terminal and then a the touch uh, digitizer. So you will need to use a tri-point uh, tip screwdriver. Highly recommended that you use a magnetic uh, style so you don't drop it your uh, screws. So once you take out those uh, four tri-point uh, screws, then you're gonna remove the metal plate, that thin plate right there. And make sure you uh, remove the flex cable. Normally I like to use a uh, plastic uh, thin uh, guitar pegs to remove it, so you don't uh, short circuit uh, any of those uh, flex cable or damage them. And then uh, you will do the same thing on the home button uh, flex uh, cable. You will need to remove this uh, metal uh, bar that's uh, holding with the two tri-point uh, screws. So you're going to remove that one, uh, second one. And then uh, you're just going to remove that thin uh, bar plate right there. What we're trying to do is try to uh, disconnect the screen and then a digitizer plus a home uh, button. Sometimes if you do that, you might uh, reset and then uh, or drain the battery out on the screen and it might fix this, uh, your uh, flickering uh, problem or issues. Flex uh, cable connector, it is kind of tricky. So uh, I kind of made a mistake right here. I did not remove the battery terminal first. So you want to go and then remove the battery terminal because I was using the metal uh, flathead screwdriver. Sometimes that was short circuit the whole phone. So you don't want to do that. So uh, now you can remove the screen and try to find out if anything else is uh, wrong with it. So right here I'm trying to demonstrate that like a darker uh, stripe of uh, bar that's on top of the black tape. So I'm not sure if the customer uh, dropped it and maybe it burned out the screen or something. And that's why there was a uh, marking over there. So once I wipe it, the darker spot has been uh, disappeared. And then uh, now we're going to put the original screen back. Make sure your flex cable is going to sit in there nicely. So don't have any kinks or anything like that. Or else you're going to damage those uh, flex cable. So first of all, you want to connect the digitizer. And then the LCD uh, screen right there. Make sure you connect in a smoothie in a flash. Pushing down as evenly. So the cable is not going to sit uh, lopsided. And then now you're going to put the front flex uh, camera. And then the earpiece on there. So right here, it's kind of very tricky. If you have a bigger hand and you cannot feel the cable is sit down correctly. So you gotta play with it. Now connecting the battery cable back on and then uh, try to power on. And then uh, now hopefully your screen will be fixed. So now it's finally uh, booting on and everything. And you got the notification, so we're gonna go ahead and then uh, test it out and look at it. So 
So as you can see, uh, it is still uh, flickering on the bottom section or portion. So that means uh, this uh, LCD is not, not good. So you will need to replace that brand new one and then uh, slap it on there. So anyway, hopefully you guys uh, give a thumbs up and then uh, like the video. Please uh, be sure to uh, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell for notification or drop me in the comments on below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next uh, video. Like always, peace.